Vermont's governor says violence at a local sporting event is unacceptable. Thank you for joining us. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. Speaking after a middle school basketball brawl went viral, Governor Phil Scott says it's up to all Vermonters to treat each other better. Channel 3's Calvin Cutler joins us live now from UVM's Patrick Gym, where the CVU and Burlington High School girls basketball teams are set to face off tonight. Calvin, what else did the governor say? Well, good evening, Darren and Kat. Governor Scott said that the fight center court between a 7th and 8th grade boys basketball teams from St. Albans and uh, Alberg is the latest example of bad behavior plaguing local sports and communities. He says it's up to all of us to be more civil. I understand the passion surrounding sports, but it's clear. We have a problem. Taking aim at a spate of violent, sexist, and racist incidents at Vermont school sporting events, Republican Governor Phil Scott stresses it's time to turn down the temperature. Last week, the nation watched a brawl break out on the court of a middle school boys basketball game, St. Albans City versus Alberg. One man died following the fight. The cause of his death is still under investigation. The idea that a brawl would break out amongst adults in front of their kids at a middle school basketball game is just plain sad. The incident follows a string of high profile events involving physical violence, sexism, or racism. Scott says the incidents at sporting events are the tip of the iceberg and they represent a deeper anger rooted in society. Divisions playing out in politics, media, and online, splitting communities apart. And it leads to big problems like storming the Capitol, but also on a smaller scale, like what happened in Alberg. None of us should find this acceptable. Scott stresses it's up to all Vermonters to turn down the temperature and be a role model for our youth. What are we teaching them about how to handle disagreements when this is what they see? The governor says it's incumbent on Vermonters to take a break from social media and be kinder to those around us, reminding Vermonters that our kids are watching. Vermont Principals Association Executive Director Jay Nichols applauds Scott for speaking up. For us to think that we're going to eradicate racism or sexism or bad behavior just by uh, issuing an edict, probably not going to be real effective. He adds all spectators can learn the message and says several incidents have been attributed to adult spectators who don't have a kid on the court. Nichols also adds that mental health needs in and out of school are at an all-time high and that resources are available for students and adults. The governor says disagreements can be healthy but says it's up to everybody to be respectful and civil. Regardless of age, we're all role models for someone and we all need to play our part and it's never, never too late to be a better person. Now, tonight, Burlington takes on CVU here at the Patrick Gym at UVM. The first game between the two since Burlington boycotted uh, the, a, um, several games over a post by a CVU player that some saw as racist. And school officials, officials tell us that uh, Burlington is taking the healing into their own hands and will be issuing a statement before the game. We'll be here uh, at 7 when the game tips off for that statement, and we'll bring it to you at our full report at 11. For now, reporting live at Patrick Jim, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. Calvin.